Hello again. Today we're going to switch gears and instead of talking about the types of uh, surveys you could conduct or the different ways of conducting a survey, we're going to talk about the types of data that you could collect within a survey. So let's get started. The first type of variable that you could be asking for is what's called a categorical variable. Now these are not numeric variables. They are um, names of things or items that belong to a certain category. So if you ask someone what kind of car they drive, uh, what type of music they like, what types of fruit that they like, those are categorical variables and you can't really assign a number to those. They have to just be the names of the things in that category. So there's no real way to sort those either. Then we have discrete quantitative variables. So those are variables, they are numbers, but they take on integer values and it's usually the result of counting something. Um, that's what discrete means. It means it only takes on integer values with no decimals or fractions. So for example, uh, we could have the number of graduates of a high school year after year. We could have the number of automobile accidents in a city uh, month after month or we could have the number of books on a shelf um, in a library perhaps. So all of those are going to take on integer values, not decimal values or uh, fraction values. And then the last type of variable that we can have is what's called a continuous quantitative variable. So continuous is kind of the opposite of discrete because now we can take on decimal values um, uh, within a certain range. So for example, if we were talking about a distance from city to city, you might round that to the nearest mile, um, but uh, you know that that distance is on a continuum. It could take on decimal values depending on how accurate you wanted to be with that. The same thing with the height of a child. We might tend to round that to the nearest inch um, or centimeter depending on your units of measurement, but if you wanted to be more accurate, you could easily uh, take that to more decimal places. And the same thing with the weight of cargo on a ship. You might round that to the nearest uh, kilogram or pound or ton even, um, but again, it's it's something that is on a continuum, so you could round that to a certain number of decimal places if you absolutely needed to. So those are the three different types of variables that you could be asking for in a survey. Uh, if you have any questions about that, please let me know, and I will see you tomorrow.